What's up everybody, Marvin Four here with another Great American Survival, and today we're gonna to be installing a new riser kit. Now what this is gonna allow me to do is from, I bought this from Yak Hobby. Now Yak Hobby, if you see, if you follow our channel for any length of time, Yak Hobby is a locally owned and operated 3D printed um, kayak accessory company. Great stuff, um, I'll put a link down below. Um, I already installed, uh, this is the rear riser kit. Uh, for the seat, which works really, really well. It raises your butt up. This is the two inch and it is awesome. Um, next, I'm going to be installing a two inch riser kit, which is gonna raise the front. So gonna change my profile, raise it up. I'm kind of curious, I've had it for a while. I just hadn't really installed it because I was afraid it was gonna make it all tippy. So I'm gonna put it on and we're gonna go test it out and see how it does. So I hope you'll stick with us. This video is intended for all ages. All right, so this is what you're gonna get. You get a pack, you get six risers. They are labeled, um, which just to help you, because basically they're gonna fit in these little slotted holes, um, like, a, like giant Legos is basically what they look like. And this is, as you see, very well done. I mean, these are solid plastic. I mean. For the price you're paying, uh, you you probably spent that much in plastic. I mean, it's crazy. Um, as you see here, this is my tackle tray. I bought this off of Amazon. What this does is goes under my seat and it's kind of a catch-all. Uh, right now, it has a lot more stuff in it because it was left out and a bunch of my stuff got rained on last um, last week. So it's all just kind of tossed in there. Everything that's usually in these little slots on the side and in the little one there and in the cubby hole on the in the drive all that's all in that box but what we're going to do is we're going to put this on we're going to check see how easy it is pay attention it comes with stainless steel screws and washers so don't lose washers that's just gonna help displace that weight, which is what we want. I'm assuming there's a left and a right because they're sorted. But that one's got two positives, two negatives. And I'm assuming it's gonna go like this to be the front. I have a bolt that goes there. I mean, look at how well that thing is done. This one's going to be the rear. And this will be the middle one. Man, look at that. Look how well that is. I mean, they snap together and aren't even going anywhere. I mean, they snap in and stay. Very well done. Now let's get our screws out. These are the screws that came with it. Get these much longer stainless steel screws take our washers let's pair that up real quick There we go. Got our new screws, got our new hardware. Let's see. That's pretty cool. I'm really curious as to how well this is gonna work. Man, that is way up there. Man, that's tall. I'm glad it's well made. Don't over tighten it because those are just nuts hurts molded into the plastic. That's pretty solid. I like that. Now I'm gonna run around and do the other side. Use one of these screwdrivers because you don't want to use an electric drill when you're tightening down on this stuff. This is a snap on ratcheting screwdriver. One of the only things that I would say 
if you're buying from Snap-on, this thing is priceless. I just bought that one because someone stole the other one out of my truck last uh, a couple weeks ago. That. All right. Now, I don't think that's going to be an issue because between the front and the back, the seat just sits in there very solid. Let's get the seat in and see how it looks going to look. All right, up close and personal. So as you'll see, very well done, very solid. Nothing shifty, nothing anything like that. I'm actually very impressed. Um, you know, that's just my seat moving, but the track's not moving. Very nice. All right, as you see, we got everything installed. I'm super excited. Um, as you see, that's my rear risers. Um, these are the rear ones. These are very nice. Um, whether you ever go with the front, at least do the rear. The rear just makes it easier for you to get your butt out of your seat. Um, you know, being I'm not as young as I used to be, and that just helps. It helps me a lot. It's one of the biggest um, additions that I think saved me time and effort. All right, that was a lot windier at home. I was expecting it to be windy out here when I got here. Um, I have to say, I like this. I don't feel tippy. I like the setup. Um, I definitely feel higher. You can feel that two inch difference, which I've always been told there's a big difference in two inches, but you know how that is. Can't believe everything you hear, but um, we're gonna paddle around. We're gonna see how well this thing does. We're gonna give it a try and um, like I said, I was, it was so funny because I'm pretty sure that I just saw the guy that designed this. Him and his family are on the other side of the lake, so maybe we'll get lucky and we'll run into him out here. Um, his name is Aaron. He runs Gak Hobby and uh, just a really nice guy. So let's see. All right, right there. Hopefully you can see him. See that hawk? Oh, there he is. He got something. Very cool. Swooped out of, down out of nowhere, just dove down on him. And something. The big dude. The big hawk. So as you see, after a day on the water, I've done quite a few. I've been up and down nonstop, standing, casting, standing, casting, uh, landing a couple fish. Um, honestly, this thing is just really stable even with the two inch. Now, I don't know about anything else. They do make, I think he makes all the way up to a four inch. And I just don't know about that. Um, two inch is great for this situation. I really like it. Um, I'm not worried. I'm not worried at all out here. I mean, I don't feel like it's added any, any negative stability to this kayak. So very cool stuff. I like it. I like it a lot. Now I'm wishing I had done this six months ago. Well, as you see, another wonderful day on the water. Um, I've been nothing but impressed with this riser kit. Uh, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to fish this bank. I have st stood up, and it does make it a little easier for me to stand. Like I said, I got 50-year-old knees, so, um, and I did martial arts when I was younger, um, all the way through college, and, yeah, I've had done some damage, so. I really enjoyed this. I really enjoyed this. I honestly wish I'd put it on six months ago, but I was honestly concerned, but I mean, nothing, nothing at all. I got a better chance of falling out than flipping over. I mean, it's really nice. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're looking at adding something like this to your kayak, go over and check out Yak Hobby. They make some great stuff. You can always reach out to Aaron and ask him if he can make something custom for you or if you can give him measurements. He makes some cool stuff. Um, I gave him an idea. I wanted to be able to put um, an air tag in my riser kit. So he put a slot where I can do it. So if you're going to steal my kayak, you better do it quick because I'll be able to find it. And that's the whole goal of putting an air tag in there. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it the old thumbs up. Join our community by hitting that subscribe button and ringing the bell and get notified every time we post a new video. And guys, thanks for stopping by. We hope you enjoyed it. Hope you'll come back. And guys, we couldn't do this without you. So make sure you go over and check out Yak Hobby. Go check us out on social media. We're on Facebook and on Instagram where we're trying to build 
a online fishing forum so we can do some kayak tournaments. So hope if you're interested, comment down below. But guys, have a great weekend. Hope you have a great week ahead. And just God bless each and every one of you. We'll see you soon.